Hello, Good Vibe Fire Tribe. This is Therese Firewoman with Good Vibe in 5, sharing ideas and insights for allowing a good vibe, shifting your vibe, and living life on fire in five minutes or less, five days a week. For more about what we do and why we do it, visit our About Good Vibe in 5 video. But for now, my friends, let's get to it and do it and watch this adorable raccoon and take our three slow, deep breaths. Let's breathe in right here. And exhale. Another slow, deep breath in. And exhale. Feel your neck, shoulders, muscles relax. And one more slow, deep breath in. And exhale. And join me in this intention, my friends, if you like. Thank you for helping me easily and naturally recognize and focus upon the good that is and to focus onward, upward, and forward to the good that is always becoming. And I like to add in truth the good that I, you, and we have already created together. Ah, and thank you for helping me share the ideal message and ideal words, short and sweet, to benefit the greatest number of people today. So I will share that for me, when raccoons show up, I am starting to venture into new territory. They always show up when I am on the verge of something different, when I have started down a new path, when I'm considering a new path. These guys are incredible explorers and adventurers, constantly expanding their territory always very curious to see what's going on. Yeah, and you see, he can even see that I'm standing here and I've got the camera pointed at him. But yeah, these guys are so, so super cool. And what's really fun is now that we're coming into October very soon, and of course, Halloween, et cetera, et cetera, the mask, quote unquote, that we have attributed to these guys it's also a very, very symbolic of using different aspects of yourself at the right time. Like for example, when you're in a business meeting, that's not the time to be, I, how can I put this? There's a different aspect of yourself that you would bring forward when you're conducting a business meeting, when you need to be focused, when you need to be detail-oriented, etc., than when you're on vacation or than when you're in a state of meditation or than when you're with your kids or you're having a romantic time with your sweetheart. We all have these different aspects within us. And raccoon is a really great reminder to make sure you bring the right aspect of yourself for the right experience and circumstance. So that symbolic idea of the mask wearing, it's not to conceal a part of yourself. It's actually to evoke a part of your personality, a part of your strengths, a part of your skills for that particular moment in time. Yeah, these guys actually have a lot to teach us. There's a lot more to them than just being a nuisance or whatever else. If you want to learn more about how to survive, even when all kinds of crazy stuff happens around you, study raccoons, learn a little bit more about them. These guys are, tea, are masters at adaptation and masters of survival and thriving in all kinds of environments. So much more to say, my dear friends, but here's to always finding a path to thriving, to evoking the best parts of yourself, and to living life on fire. Good.